Hello everybody, welcome back uh, to uh, CST 1040 Spreadsheet Applications. Um, this will be week three, lecture two, and we're going to start focusing a little bit more on larger worksheets and manip uh, manipulating a large list of data. Um, um, here I have the uh, Golden Key Auto Sales Current Inventory, just a, a fairly fairly larger worksheet. Um, not too big, it's about 35, 40 rows. Okay, I think we used this one and the other one for the uh, um, conditional formatting. What I want to do here is sort of get into more of this list of data here um, in reference to sorting and filtering and getting some status uh, status bar data off of your uh, information. Um, the first thing I want to show you is sorting the data. Um, sorting the data is very, very simple. Um, all you have to do is just click in the column you want to sort by, go to your sort and filter button up here in the ribbon, and pick smallest to largest. And that sorts all the records by vehicle ID number. Um, if I want to sort it by year, I can go into the year column, sort and filter, and pick smallest to largest, and all the older cars come up to the top. Um, sort of a cooler way to do it, if, you, if you're into right clicking, you can right click in the column you want to sort by, right click, and then sort, and I'll pick largest to smallest. And that brings all the newer cars up here to the top. Okay, now let me scroll across here, and let's sort it by price. Um, I'll bring all the cheap cars to the top, so I'll just right click anywhere in the price column, sort, and then smallest to largest. And all the lesser expensive cars come up here to the top of the uh, list. And that's just a simple way to sort your data. Um, either use the sort and filter button on the ribbon, or just right click. Now the next thing I want to show you is what if you want to sort by multiple columns? Like, you know, you have a list of 500 employees, and you want to sort them primarily by last name, then by uh, first name, then by middle initial, or whatever. Um, you know, Smith Allen, Smith Bill, Smith Charlie, Smith David. Um, yeah, primarily by last name, then by first name. Here, let's sort our data by uh, make, primarily by make, then by model. A um, couple ways you can do this. You can either right click or go to the ribbon, uh, the button on the ribbon. I'll, I'll use the button on the ribbon. Um, when you're sorting by multiple columns, it doesn't matter where your cursor is, as long as you're anywhere in the table. So I'll go to Sort and Filter, and I'll pick Custom Sort, Custom Sort, and I'll sort by Make. That's my, that's my primary sort key. Sometimes you hear them refer to as sort keys. Um, then I'll click my Add Level button. Then I'll sort it by Model. Then I'll click OK. Um, you can pick your order over here, A to Z, Z to A, whatever you want to do. Okay. A to Z for both of them. I'll hit OK. And now they're primarily sorted by make, then within make they're sorted by model. Um, for example, we have Ford Bronco, Escape, Expedition, F-150, Mustang, Ranger, etc. Okay. Um, that's a little bit about sorting with multiple columns. Um, I'll sort it by make, then by price. I'll, I'll, actually, I'll do the right-click method here. Just right-click, go to sort, custom sort, and primarily by make, then by price, then I'll bring the uh, largest to smallest, the most expensive cars first, and A to Z for the uh, make. Hit OK. And now all the Dodges are grouped together, all the Forces are grouped together, and then if you go across here, they're sorted by price. The cheapest ones are first, and then they gradually get more expensive. Um, that's just a real simple example of how to sort your data um, by one column and by multiple columns. Now the next thing I want to show you is filtering. Filtering is really cool. That's where you can extract certain records from a table that meet criteria. Like, I only want to see the Fords. I only want to see the four-door Chevys. I only want to see cars with a CD player. Okay, we can do that with the filter feature. Let me go to sort and filter up here. And I'll pick filter. Okay, make sure your cursor is anywhere on the list first. And I get these little column drop-down arrows along the column headings here. Okay, and I can pick whatever I want to do here. Let's see, like, I want to see all four-door Chevys. I'll go to make, and I get all these check marks down here. I'll click on select all to remove them all, and then click on Chevy, and hit OK. And I just see Chevys. Now I only want to see four door Chevys, so I'll click my down arrow here, uncheck the two, leave the four checked, hit OK, and there's all my four door Chevys. Um, now it's pretty simple to look at, it's only three cars, right? But if you look down here in the lower, lower left corner, it always tells you how many records, whoops, it always tells you how many records were pulled. Three of 35, all right? In the real world, you're not gonna have, you know, three cars, you're gonna have 37 cars or 45 cars. So look down there in the lower left, it tells you how many cars were filtered. 
Now to remove the filter, um, sort of the best way to do it is to go to sort and filter and pick clear. Okay. Now what I want to do okay, is go ahead and let's filter out another car. Um, I want to see all the Chevys and all the Fords and they got to have uh, a CD player. So I'll go to make, select all to get rid of all the check marks, then Chevy and Ford. It'll be all the Chevys and the Fords. There they are. And they got to have a CD player. So I'll go to drop down arrow here, remove, the, uh, uncheck the no box, and hit OK. And they're all Chevys or Fords, and they have a CD player. And that's just a little bit about doing some simple filtering. Um, I'll go to sort and filter and bring all my records back. I'll hit clear. And oops, I'll scroll across here. And let's filter the prices. <coughs> um, let's say a customer walks in and they want to see all the cars under a thousand dollars under a thousand dollars I'll go to price and I'm gonna pick number filters number filters then I get a cascaded menu over here or a sub menu and I'll type I'll click on less than and I'll type in a thousand and I'll hit OK and we have two cars that are under a thousand dollars five hundred dollars and eight hundred dollars when you apply a filter Always double check. Make sure you got the right results. Okay, I shouldn't have anything over a thousand bucks, and I don't. Um, in the real world, people hit that filter button and they think it's gold. They think it's automatically right. Always verify it. Okay, never trust it. Always check your work. All right. I'll go to sort and filter and pick clear. Um, let's say I want to I want to see a price range. Um, this one's a little bit different. I want to see all the cars between five and ten thousand dollars. No less than five, but no more than ten. I'll go to my price drop down arrow here and I'll go to number filters and I'm going to pick between between and between a thousand or excuse me five thousand and ten thousand make sure you get the right number of zeros five thousand ten thousand hit OK and it brings up five cars down here five of thirty five were picked and five cars got picked Alrighty, so 10,065, always verify it. They are between five and 10,000, looks good. Um, I'll go to sort and filter and pick clear, okay? We'll do one more here, okay? Now, there is sort of a cool way to do a filter. Um, you can use a filter by right clicking. Like, let's say I wanna see all the cars that have AC, all the cars that have AC. What you can do is, is find the AC column, obviously, column F, and right click any occurrence of the word yes, and you can right click on it, and go down to filter and do filter by selected cells value. There we go. Now if I scroll down, we got 32 out of 35 records. Um, they also it also has to have a sunroof. So I'll right click in my sun I'll right click a yes in my sunroof column. Go to filter and pick filter by selected cells value. Now I have all the cars that have AC and they have a sunroof. And that's just a real simple way for right clicking um, um, when it comes to filtering. Now to turn your filter off, we can go to sort and filter and pick filter and that removes all your records. Okay, That removes all your records. Now you can also get data from the status bar. Like let's say um, what is the average price of a Chevy? What's the average price of a Chevy? Most people would probably hang up the phone with their boss and sit there and come up with some formula. But we're going to do it the cool way. I'm going to extract out all my Chevys. So I'm going to right click any Chevy over here go to filter and do filter by selected cells value and there's my five Chevys. I'll scroll across here and whenever you highlight a range of numbers a bunch of data appears down here in the status bar. Okay, So I'm going to highlight all my prices there we go and look at all my data down here. The sum is 79.7 and the count is 5 and the average is $15,940. $15,940 now, if you don't see your data down here, that just means it's it just it doesn't mean it's not there. It just means it's not turned on. You can right click your status bar and look at all that information. Most Excel users don't even know that's even there. Okay, and you can click minimum, maximum, sum, averages in there, count. Okay, and it shows you all the info over here as well. Okay, um, let's try another one real quick. I'll go to sort and filter and pick clear. And what's the most expensive Ford? So let's see here. I'll go to my Ford, or I'll go to my my, my uh, make here. Whoops, my make. 
only pick Fords and highlight all your prices and actually there it is right there at 40,000 but you can look down here and there's the max 40,000 and the lowest is 800 okay the lowest is 800 um, let me bring back my records and we'll do one more and then we'll conclude this lecture on, uh, on, on that note let me scroll back over here um, the boss calls and wants to know what is um, the total of all the cars if we sold all 35 cars how much money would we make what's the value of all the cars on the car lot basically just highlight all your prices there we go and look down here sum 672,950 bucks so the status bar is a really cool way of getting some calculations and some answers without having to rack your brains over a formula or a function okay you just highlight some certain numbers and uh, boom there's your status bar data right down there okay and we'll conclude this lecture here and at the next lecture lecture three we're going to do, do a little bit bigger worksheet and do some more advanced filtering and some status bar data and some advanced printing techniques.